What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is DaviFX back again with another daily analysis video. And with these videos, my goal is to bring you clarity and confidence to your own trading. So stay tuned until the end of the video to find out everything that I'm looking at uh, for this day and upcoming days this week. Uh, before we start, I would kindly ask you to hit that like button and hit that bell button. So every time I post this video, uh, you don't miss it and you can take advantage of it. Before, uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the screens. All right, we do have something to cover uh, from what we had yesterday. And uh, like I always share the trades that I take and I took, we did have an eight or nine uh, trades winning uh, streak that was broken uh, and we did take a loss yesterday. Uh, so I hope you can see, this is the trade right here. Uh, this was the trade that I called out and I told my group that I'm going to be using a lower risk on this one. And this was for me personally a 0.5% loss. And basically this trade was taken uh, based on a similar analysis that I was talking about in yesterday's video. So like I said, uh, once again, if you haven't watched my previous video, I will link, uh, leave a link um, above so you can go and watch it because that video was more in depth. For, um, looking at the bigger time frames and uh, you know today i'm going to be looking off what we have today so basically i had these three zones and like i said um, i had three scenarios that i'm looking at is basically break above a uh, retest and potential long setup then uh, when the price was right here i think so somewhere around here um nope it was this candle wasn't here so the price was here. I said my second scenario is this a retest, break and retest. And the last setup is this uh, retest and then push to the upside. So what happened, the price uh, eventually came down to this zone, to the middle zone. But like I said in my signals group and also in the video yesterday, this setup right here that we have in the middle is the riskiest one. So we did end up taking this trade. Um, let me tell you how I triggered my entry. The price did drop. You know, one of the probably mistakes that I did, um, it was this momentum to the downside. So basically I was going against momentum, you know, but you know, overall bullish momentum on the bigger time frame was, was the key. So the price came down. You know, it came down and it formed the not prettiest one, but it did form a double bottom that we have here. I did see a nice push to the upside. I was like, okay, the price might be respecting the zone. It's time to go up. Uh, we did take, take a trade and we took a loss. That, that is okay. What happened? The price just continued dropping to the downside and we approached this zone once again. Another setup that I had marked up was this right here but I did not take a trade on this um, retest because it was very impulsive to the upside and it did break above. So a lot of fake outs, a lot of fake moves happening in the markets right now. So before I do any further analysis, I, I wanna kinda you know, zoom out, scale out and show you what do we have. And it's obviously a big, big consolidation, right? So in consolidations, you either, you have two options, either stay out and wait for one of the, you know, highs or lows to be broken out or trade uh, by, you know, buying low and selling high until one of these are broken. Now, this isn't just a support. This is also a significant demand zone. Uh, we do have a lot of respect to this zone. Um, if I kind of zoom in a little bit respect 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 multiple must multiple respects what 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 we can expect is a respect i'm not saying that the price is going to go down uh, go up right from this zone right now uh, since this consolidation we could definitely see you know some fake outs to the downside you know some liquidity grabs from this demand right here before continuing to the upside so i'm really aware of that and i'm really careful now before I look for uh, zones for my entries, I would like to take a look on the weekly time frame. So obviously on the weekly time frame, we do have impulsive bullish candle. We do have weak bearish candle. And so far, this uh, weekly candle does look like it's uh, does look bearish and it looks like it's moving down. Now, there's not a lot of information on the weekly because um, all we have 
uh, here on the left is just basically a lot, of, a lot of, you know, choppy price action. We can, you know, scale out some support right here. So uh, potential scenario, you know, retest and then continuation to the upside. But I don't want to look at that. I want to look at some candles. Let's look at daily candles. As you can see, very, very choppy price action. We do have uh, an impulse um, right here with this bullish candle and then a bearish takeover on NFP day, uh, then a weak bullish candle uh, on, uh, on the previous day yesterday. So it is early to say that we're going down because you know we still have almost nine hours for this daily candle to close. We still have a New York session in uh, you know, a couple of hours. So we can definitely expect the price to respect this support and then push to the upside. Now I'm going to tell you uh, what are the zones that I'm looking at um, for me to go bearish, for me to invalidate, uh, invalidate this consolidation here. So like I said in the previous videos, I said we do have a bullish impulse, we do have a bullish weekly closure. We are in a very oversold market on the bigger time frames. So I do expect overall the price to push up. So this is going to be the zone that is going to be my key area that I'm going to be looking at. Let me mark this as a red as you know, important zone. So if this ends up breaking below, especially on the daily time frame, then I'm going to say uh, uh, we're probably going to see a lower low on this overall market structure before maybe continuing to the upside but so far i'm still sticking to my bias i'm still sticking to my bullish bias especially when we are at some key support zones and you know key demand zones and until then until and if they are broken uh, i'm gonna continue to look for buy positions to the upside there's not you know a reason for me to you know um, look for sales just at this moment since we're trading at some very key important levels. Um, so yeah, basically that's nice and simple analysis. And let me go down to the lower time frame to kind of show you what can be my potential entries. Let me move this a little bit lower. So now to, like I said, two key areas, two key zones. Um, we do have this one right here and this one right here. So I would love to see reaction. I would love to see long work to the downside. I would love to see a bullish engulfing candle before continuing uh, to look to the upside uh, for a potential entry to the upside. Now, if this ends up broken, uh, I'm going to be looking once again for strong reactions and a bullish engulfing candle on 30 minute or one hour time frames before looking to go long. Now, if this zone ends up breaking out, this zone right here ends up breaking out and this zone is respected. Now there are two potential scenarios. You can take the trade right here, which is more risky scenario, or you can wait for the price to respect the zone and break above this support here and retest. This is going to be more of a safe scenario, more a high probability scenario. Of course, the risk reward might be not as good, but the probability is definitely going to be higher if you take this second option right here. That's basically what I'm going to be waiting for. Uh, I would not be surprised if on the New York session, we do have a quick dip before, you know, continuation to the upside. But now at this moment, we just wait, we just look and we just react instead of guess. And I mean, that's what I have for today. Nice and simple. We're in consolidation, trade safe, have that in mind. Uh, if you want to learn to trade for me, check all the links in the description, signals, uh, trade for me, my Instagram, I do post a lot on Instagram, a lot of reels, educational stuff that you might want to see. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.